Reconciliations are a common and time-consuming activity for many finance and data professionals. Ultimately, it's just comparing two pieces of information to make sure that they contain the same values. However, if they don't contain the same values, we need to find out why there are differences. We need to investigate those differences. So in this video, we're looking at how we can automate our reconciliation process using Power Query. So if you're ready, let's get started. The goal of any reconciliation is to find the differences between two or more inputs. There are lots of ways that we could achieve this. In this video, we're just looking at one of those ways. And we're going to do this by undertaking three steps. We're going to start by creating a unique list. We'll then merge our data sets into that unique list and finally calculate the differences between those two inputs. For this, we've got two example files. We have our file called listing. This has an employee name, a reference, a start date, a gross value, a cost center and a region. And let's assume that this is a file that we are sending to our third party payroll provider. And the total of this value is 40925519. The payroll provider has then sent a file back to us. Now the value of our gross column is 40920986. So there's 458 pounds and 33 pence difference between these two documents. And we want to find out why. So I've already loaded these tables into Power Query. Now let's see how we can automate this reconciliation. Here in Power Query, we have our two inputs, listing and payroll. So the first step that we want to perform is to get a unique list of all of our employees. Now you'll notice that the column names are employee name and ref, and then in the second table, they are name and number. We need to make sure that these columns have the same heading. So rather than number, I'm going to call this ref. And then in the listing query, I'm just going to call this name. Okay, now we can append our two queries. So from the home ribbon, we've got the append queries drop down and we'll select append queries as new. Okay, that brings up the append dialog box. We just have two tables. The first table is listing and the second table is payroll. And then I'll click OK. And now that will create a new query that's called append one. Not a great name. Let's call that reconciliation. And now we want to select the name and ref columns and then remove all the other columns. Now we want a unique list. Somebody's name could possibly change. They might get married or they might change their name in some other way. So we're going to select the ref column, right click, and then go down to remove duplicates. This should give us a list of the unique employee numbers. In step two, we want to merge both of our original data sources back into our unique list. So I'll select my reconciliation, and then from the home ribbon, I'll select Merge Queries. Once the Merge dialog box is opened, we can then select which query we want to merge with. Let's start with our listing query. And the columns that we want to merge on are Ref and Ref. And you can see at the bottom that we have a difference of three. So the selection matches 740 of 743 rows. So that means that our unique list contains three records that are not in our listing. I'll click OK to accept that. And now we have a listing column. Let's expand that column. Now in this scenario, we only want the gross value. And I'm going to keep our original column name as prefix, just because in both tables, they're called gross. So therefore, this will help us to distinguish which value we're looking at. Then I'll click OK. So now we get the gross value from our listing query. In here, we will have some null values. Now, because we can't calculate on null values, it means that we need to convert that to a zero. So you can see at the bottom that we have three null values. I'm going to select that column 
and then go to transform and then replace values. And in there, we want to find null and replace that with zero. And then I'll click OK. So that's completed our first query. Now we need to do the same with our second query. So on our reconciliation query again, we'll go to home and then merge queries. This time, our second table will be our payroll query and we'll merge on ref and ref once again. We'll click OK on there. And now let's expand this column. And again, the only value we want is the gross value. We'll click OK. And just as before, we know we have some null values because there were a different number of records. So we'll go to transform, replace values, and then we will replace null with zero. So find value is null, replace with zero. And then I'll click OK. Fantastic, that completes step two. Now it's time to move on to step three. The last step that we need to perform is to calculate the difference between our two columns. So the difference between the listing.gross and the payroll.gross. To do that, we're going to add a custom column. So we're going to add column, custom column. And we're going to call this column variance. So new column name, variance. And this is simply going to be listing.gross minus payroll.gross. Then we'll click OK. Fantastic. It says there that our variance is predominantly zeros, which is what we would expect if our data sets are similar. We're now going to filter and remove anything that does not equal zero. So I'll uncheck zero, then click OK. You can see where each variance does not equal zero. You can see that there in the formula bar. This now gives us our reconciliation. So let's convert our variance to a decimal number. And now let's close and load this into Excel. So home, close and load. Okay, that's now loaded into Excel. And if you remember, the difference that we're looking for is 458 pounds, 33 pence. So I'll select in my table, add in a total row. Fantastic, there we go. That is our reconciling difference, which means that now all we need to do is look at each of these lines and find out why is there a difference? Now, Power Query can't do this for us. We might have to have conversations, speak to other people in our organization, but these are the items that we need to resolve before we're happy that our data has been reconciled. Our example works so well because we have a unique reference. In your scenario, you might have multiple values for each unique reference. So for example, here, we have Arlia Wilson, whose reference number is 69, and she has a gross of 2,379, but she also exists here, reference number 69, with a value of 3,212. So in this scenario, what we need to do is to select whatever makes our unique reference. From the transform ribbon, we can click group by, and then once that group by dialog box appears, we want to create a new column called gross, and we want to sum, we want to sum that gross column because that's the value that we are looking at. And then I'll click OK. Now what that does is that it creates a single value for each unique reference, which means that when we then get our unique references and merge those tables together, it means that we only have one value for each of those references. And that's it. That's how we can easily perform automatic reconciliations using Power Query. Now in this example, we have two tables on one workbook. In reality, we wouldn't need to do this. We could connect to each source individually and pull those into Power Query and then perform that reconciliation. We don't even need to copy and paste values from different workbooks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and also go ahead and check out our training academy over at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. You can find out about all our training resources and everything we have to make you awesome at Excel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.